All right, so now I, be, now I gave you already many hints to the principle of duck, duck typing here. And the principle of duck typing is some of the core philosophies of Python. And that says if something looks like a duck and quarks like a duck, it probably is a duck. Okay, and the same here for our lists. It doesn't need to be an instance of type list, but if it looks like a list and behaves like a list, then we just treat it as a list. Okay, so if I can, so if there is something which I can append to, I don't care if it's a list or if it's something else that I can append to. It behaves like a list, so I'm going to treat it as a list. And that's this duck typing. So it doesn't matter what type of variable is. It only matters if we can do with it what we need to do with it. In this example here, it's appending. Okay, so imagine this example of the multiple inheritance where we have animals, land animals, water animals. And then for example, if we wanted to make our move forward function here, that we would want to have different behavior if it's a land animal or a water animal. So if we, would may, we may ask if our animal is an instance of the class land animal, then walk. If it's an instance of class water animal, then swim. And then, for example, imagine we create a random animal and then we move forward. And now this, I mean, this works. Yes, but it's not Pythonic because we could have edge cases where something where it behaves that way, um, but it's not necessarily an instance of that type. So imagine we make a duck-like animal, which is a land animal and a water animal, and we call the move forward. So now, I mean, this is obviously how I implemented it, but this would execute the walk and the swim. And this is not Pythonic, because Pythonic is the duck typing. And this animal here, well, let's make it look and quark like a duck. So instead of asking if an animal is an instance of this type duck-like animal, we said simply ask where does it look like a duck and does it quark like a duck? And then, yeah, for all that matters, oops, I didn't execute this. And then for all that matters, that thing is a duck. So to make our animal move the Pythonic way, we would, we would include our principle of duck typing together with the it's easier for us for forgiveness than for permission principle and would do it like this. So try to work. And if that shouldn't work, in this case, the error we're getting is an attribute error, then just swim. Now our duck works. We could also, of course, switch these methods here. Okay, so it doesn't need to be the case that this is a list the only important thing is if we have the behavior of a list and then we don't care if it's a list. Duck typing. If it looks like a list and quarks like a list, it probably is a list. So it's not Pythonic to do it like this. Is instance, sometimes you may need it, but the inheritance structure in Python is really not important. It's you, in, in Python, you don't have the principle of um, um, for example, having a base. So for example, if you have a class fruit and you create an apple and an orange from this, in Java and C++, you would make sure these fruits inherit this apple and orange inherit from fruit. And then you can simply, well, call them, ask if this is an instance of fruit. In Python, well, if they inherit from fruit, they would also inherit all the attributes and the behavior of fruit. And we could simply try to just run this behavior on these things. And this then excludes edge cases. So if we don't know if a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable, never mind. If it has attributes that are there for a fruit, like, I don't know, <laughs> the contents of vitamin or something, we can ask it, the tomato. And if it has this behavior, then we can execute the behavior. And if it doesn't, that's an exception and we have to define it. 